All right, hello and welcome to league number three, testing a Green White Reclaimer for this weekend. The Mammoth in all of its glory. It's been okay so far. Not sold that it's better than an Airboy or Gracer or even another Explorer. I've been liking the Turn Timber though. Turn Timber has been legit. Uh, basically, if, if this entered and tapped, I think it would be a staple. If this had the, the same clause that uh, Turn Timber does, I think that this would probably be a staple of the deck, but entering tapped is it's kind of a huge downside. Oh, we don't have Amulet to outweigh that downside. Mm, okay. Basic land shark, thank you for the thank you for the BDs. So the only thing I'm hoping that doesn't happen is Arbiter into Giver. That would be really tough to beat. That one we can't beat. Very easily actually. Um I feel like I'm not gonna go get flagstones here. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna do this right now. Play around the Arbiter. Just gonna get it Balakid. Get this going. Okay, so they did have the Giver. Big deal. Thank you, Basic Land Shark. Appreciate it. Three mana. What do you got? Hangerback Walker. Uh, it's that deck. So it's not the deck that I was thinking this was. this deck was something else <clears throat> all right they're gonna have to answer my triad here because otherwise next turn we get them pretty hard yeah my opponent's cycling they know that they have to find an answer to this triad right now they did all right <sighs> cool <clears throat> Yeah, you probably don't want to attack opponent. Don't get too frisky. Don't get too frisky. Um, that's a good one. So we're playing this, which means that we're apparitioning. Um, I think I'm an apparition defile. No, let's actually just operation the the giver. Like th this is gonna be problematic down the line. So let's just get rid of this now. Let's get it while the getting is good. Don't care too much about that hanger back walker. Guess I'm not gonna play around main deck mind sensor. We might get blown out by it, obviously, because I'm actively not playing around it, so. This probably means that they don't have Mind Sensor, which is great for us. <laughs> mm. 
Not a good draw, not a good draw. So we have only one more. <clears throat> we have one more target for flex stones. Because we somehow managed to draw one, two, three, four of our basics, of our uh, planes. And we, no, five, because we sack this one. Oh, I guess that I fetch for this one, so. Get the last planes. Oh, that's gonna gain a lot of life. Yod. Okay. Why didn't they do that before? It's kind of weird. All right, can we find a dryad or a path to exile? I think I'm gonna Titan first, and then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna get a Dryad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fortunately, that this doesn't go for zero pen. Thank you for the follow. Um, the problem is I I would like to make sure that I can. I would like to make sure that I can actually, um, that my opponent doesn't have Path to Exile. Two, three, four, five, six. They, oh, I guess that I'm dead. If they draw Ballista or Ranger Captain, I lose. But I can't beat that. So there's no need to play around it. They want the challenge with the challenge with this deck. Cool. Oh, I'm an idiot. I wanted to get a green source. Whoops. I can get it with reclaimer. It's not a big deal. So that's their entire hand. So I guess let's just uptick this to two. Seems better. Now their champions die and we can actually start racing them. I 
So they block here, they block here, they take eight, eh, sorry, nine. They can block here, block here. They can give their dudes, oh, they can give their dudes lifelink. So if they give their hanger back lifelink, Is that a good attack? They gain nine. I guess they get they gain ten, forty nine. But it, and it just clears. It just clears the the deck too, which I'm kind of interested in doing. So they're probably going to give both of them lifelink. So they gain 13, but they take more than 13. So at least we did a little bit of... How big these dudes are, it doesn't matter whatsoever. So. Um, I guess I do want to blow this up. No, because it blows up my Reclaimer. Um, we play around the Ranger Captain, though, if I do that. Yeah, I think I'm... to just scoop the Ranger Captain, I guess. Two, suck here. Just gonna get castle. I just need a green source. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cast this. Thank you. Um, let's do this yes 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 yield we don't have basics to go fetch okay sweet we got there Whew. We had to dodge there for a, for a second. Uh, this member seems good. Wolf seems particularly good against this version of the deck. Uh, Bolt can go. Parishion is good. Ramming up is good. So I guess that they don't have access to... Um, they don't have access to um, Arbiter and stuff, right? They have uh, the Aspirant thingy. Only Mind Sensor, okay. They don't have an uh, Arbiter, there's nothing I want to kill them too, so... Ballista? They just say Ballista. I'm just gonna call for Dryad here, I think. I guess I should have main phase gold for Dryad, huh? Yeah, this was this was bad actually. Cause now 
I am playing right into mind sensor if I call here. A Luminarch Aspirant. Okay. I think that two damage is fine here. Monetize. Classic. Getting path here is actually okay for us. Uh, do I want to dismember right now? I think so. I, don't, I actually don't think so. I'm going to wait until they trigger their Luminar Cosperant. Oh, well, this is fine. That's their entire turn four. That's cool. I can work with that. Um, so field of the dead, one, two, three, try it. And I'm just gonna copy field. Warrior of Champion resolves. I'll block. Sweet. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So they have only one card in hand, so this is just lethal. I mean, it's not lethal, but it clears the board. We still have a prime time and a night of autumn, like where we're just winning here. Sweet. What an interesting alternate take on the Taxes matchup, right? Obviously a significantly better matchup for us, particularly with this version of, that has uh, that has access to not only Path to Exile, but also this member and a uh, Collector Oof. Uh, okay, interesting hand. I think I'm gonna go Mammoth into Steve. Sandu Valley. It's kind of a dope art. The art sure is nice. You have the valley and you have the mammoths hanging out in the valley. Pretty sweet. Oh, fuck. Really? Oh, we're gonna have to upkeep path this thing. Uh. This matchup makes me sad. Honestly, it just makes me sad. Like, why? Why are people like that, right? Why are people like my opponent? Why are you like this opponent? Tell me. Main deck Ashiok? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs>
<laughs> they also could have packed it. Uh, they could have gotten a blue source and they got a they got a black source instead. Which is certainly interesting. Sucks. Get another white source. <sighs> Vomit. Oh, they didn't have the... I was playing around round in the log, that's why it didn't just jam the apparition. But... Remy Ab is still in the deck. I just have another push. Come on, play another crab or something like that. Ugh. Well, at least that result. But now we're still two turns away from a Titan. And all four of my dryads are gone. Yeah, I'm not liking my chances. Not liking my chances. Raminab is still alive. Raminab is still alive. I think I'm going to decline to search here. Ugh. We have five cards in hand. Oh, this Miko Core has been so good for them. Crab shit. We're gonna be pathing that crap for sure. Meal makes me wanna cry, yeah, me too. And we're not respecting it, where we don't have any Gaia's Blessing style effect in the sideboard, so. Come on, opponent, come on. Let's speed this, this thing up, shall we? Let's speed this thing up. Can we beat it without blessing? It's not easy, but yeah, we can. Okay, 
So I guess we get to Titan now. Feels like we're not gonna have enough though. Yeah, they had the archive trap. And because of the Miko Koro, we just don't have enough time. So that we play a 6-6, six, six, they, they, they take three, they go to 12, and we just cannot present lethal, and we just deck. Ugh, brutal. Okay, Mind Sensor, Eidolon. Dismembers, Tracker, Knight of Autumn, a couple of boils, 68 card special. Now that it comes up with us playing against this miserable deck, I've been thinking about an anti mill deck that isn't dead in other matchups, so and Wheel of Sun and Moon. Uh, yeah, the problem with a card like Wheel of Sun and Moon is that it... So, um... I think I'm gonna keep this. Um, the whole point of having a sideboard card like um, like a, an Adrasi Titan or a Gaia's Blessing is that you can have the one copy, right? You can just play the one copy because you don't need to draw it. It needs to be in your deck. So um, the problem with Wheel of Sun and Moon is that you actually need to draw it for it to do anything. So it actually is a worse plan. Like it's it's cool and we could we could play it, but if your idea is to beat Mill, then you're not doing yourself any favors. I think I'm gonna I kinda wanna go for broke. I guess if I draw an untap land, it doesn't do it. Okay, so. Yeah, ramming up would have been interesting too. I think that I'd rather go for this. Even an answer to the to Miss Mary Corp would have been interesting. So now we can cast Titan and we can put a lot of pressure into the battlefield next turn. We can probably assemble lethal. And that's a good sign for me. Inquisition resolves. I mean, if they randomly meal one of my Titans here, we're very sad, but they didn't. Sweet. So that's the plan. Here's my Titan. Oh, we're gonna get Vesuva and and Field. A Valakudem field, sorry. Wow, I just packed it in, just like that. Okay, they didn't even want to see my cyborg plan. They didn't even, even, didn't even get to see the boils. Um, so gross that we mail for like a billion from tapping for... Yeah, I, we do, but like it, it's kind of... Well, that's why I wanted to like speed out the Titan and try to get there quickly. Spinlord resolves, you first fetch for the two basic for the planes of a flax. Yeah, you first search for the Spring Bloom Druid because you need to you need to resolve the ability altogether. So you always fetch for the two uh, Spring Bloom uh, thingies, and then you fetch from the flax stones. 
Boyle, one more ball from you. I don't think Boyle is that good. I don't think Boyle is that good because my opponent has a lot of non-islands. So that's why I, I'm bringing in the two. But maybe, I, honestly, maybe I shouldn't even be bringing them in. Can Mono Green Agro still be competitive? No, it can't. Purge Gift for Ashiok. I don't think I'm too afraid of Ashiok. Please Mulligan. They didn't. Shit. Why do I keep drawing path? Holy fuck! <laughs> Why do I keep drawing path to Exiles? <laughs> Jeez. All right, so bottom this, bottom this, and bottom this. If you move the four, your library is bigger. Facts. Doesn't matter when your opponent has double crab. So I think that we're just dead here, probably. We're not gonna be able to race this. Ramming up is nice and everything, but double crab is just is just too much. They also fetched for a basic swamp, so yep, they also have the Inquisition. Yeah, I think that we can't win anymore. Like the rest of their hand would need to be just blanks. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna keep playing, but I, I think that we're probably at this point just zero percent to win. If something extremely wild were to happen, maybe. Like they just missed all of the land drops and they have all three drops plus in their hand. That's not missing a land drop. If you cite your entire cyber, it's gonna be worth at least an extra turn. Uh, the problem is that you don't want to be cyborning cards that don't do anything, right? Like, I don't want Galactic, I don't want... These are just dead cards. So I, I do sideboard above... Um, above 20 cards. Above 60 cards, but I don't, I don't want to have the dead cards in there. Because it's just a waste. It's just bad. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna play Knight of Autumn just for three. Just as a clock. And I'm gonna shock here because obviously my left total doesn't matter and they might have a mesmeric orb, so. Can you explain why some people play Ghost Lake over Blessing and vice versa? Uh, I don't know. Personally, I think that Blessing is the best one because it's the one that has the most uh, external uses, uh, but some people might think that Ghost Lake is better. I don't know. I can tell you why I like Blessing. Particularly in this matchup, it's just, it's not that great when, um, like Crypt Incursion, for example, which my opponent might have here, by the way, and we're never able to race Crypt Incursion here. Like if they have Crypt Incursion, they're just gonna gain too much life. Yeah, Miss Mary Corv. Can't cast that guy. I don't think playing this Eidolon really helps my chances that much. 
just have Arcade Trap. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this, uh, if, if you're not prepared for this deck, it's just not winnable. I mean, it, it, it is winnable, but you need to, like, you need something like what my opponent did in the previous game, right? When we kind of fired an all cylinders and my opponent didn't have their key cards. Their key cards, of course, being the crabs, uh, the surgicals, and the, and the archive traps. So with, with our opponents not having any of those cards and us having like actually a pretty solid draw, um, we managed to, to get there on, on one of the games, but it's, we are very, 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 very heavy underdog. Like if, we, if we're just throwing numbers, I think that under normal circumstances, we're probably like 25 or 30% to win or something. Yes. Everything that does is search, so we can play around trap. I mean, the the I mean, you can play around trap by not searching, but oftentimes it's not gonna get you there, right? Like the whole point is <laughs> is that you want to be able to search. So you think a worm call could make the cut in this deck even in the cyber? No way way many better options before i even consider one call bye bye ramina but we do get to untap with a reclaim mode This is for six sig that doesn't search up to lands. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and we do have Splinter Twin, so. Please play like a Scholar or something like that. Stoneforge Mystic, it's basically the same thing. Black, white, stone blade. I guess this is a deck that people can play. Just continue to go up the chain. Nice, nice. We're probably, I guess it depends on what my opponent does here. Uh, like if they Inquisition, I'm just gonna call for a Titan, obviously, but if they Thought sees me, I guess I just let it resolve. Where's this? Main Degashiok, Liliana. Uh, yeah, we don't care about that one, I don't think. So I guess I'd rather play around my opponent being able to remove my Dryad. Uh, we could also just call for a Titan. Yeah, I guess that's I guess that's better. I don't think my opponent can beat this card, so Field of the Dead, Valakut. Liliana thinks against real? Yeah, I know. Remember when Liliana was like a modern staple and it was it was legit a good card? I love that my opponent is still playing. Oh, lingering souls! Oh my god! It's so much value! I guess now that I bend this, my opponent could destroy the Valakut and they just lose to Field of the Dead.
Remember using Colony Garden to play around Lily? Those were the days. Those were some innocent times. Before we had this. This completely absurd card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yellow. Ghost quarter, I guess. Sure. And I was with when you can turn to her with death by shaman. Uh, I mean, it was it was good afterwards as well. Not as good, but it was still like fine. Did stuff. They do have a little bit of a value engine, but I just don't care about it. They might have scholars and shit. Just leave one path for this member. I guess that we can just purge his color. Um, we could also just not have oof. Like it only stops Stoneforge. Just answer the equipment. Might be just easier. Um, <laughs> Let's cut all paths. <clears throat> Magic is easy when you're quite listed like a good amulet player, of course. It's all about that white listed life, you know? Where you're greeted with this kind of opener. I know that there's an Elvish Reclaimer right on top of my deck, so I don't want to keep this hand because I will, you know, my opponent will know, you know, so I just don't want to blow them out and show them how how powerful it is. So I'm just gonna just gonna ship it just to so they don't feel as bad. I'm definitely keeping this, probably bottoming dry Valakut, yeah. Because we can go turn one, turn two. Uh, but this is yet another call for call for druid kind of hand. My opponent's playing mutavolt. God damn it, my opponent's playing mutavolt. I think that they just kept the hand because of Ashiok. <laughs> but they can't cast Ashiok. Uh, that's funny. Uh, do we just want to dry it here? I kind of want to dry it. Yeah, let's just draw it. I got killed by a creeping tarpet today. Well, that's one that hasn't happened to me in a while. I have not been killed by a tarpet in a long, long time. Sure. Funny thing is that even if they have mana tithe, this is just giving me the mana that I need to pay for mana tithe, so we're still fine. Did my opponent just cyborg into a eight rack? Maybe they just cyborged into eight rack.
This is also Liliana minus protection. Huh? Uh, told you. Is my opponent going to minus here? Of course, of course. Minus targeting themselves, even though they have lingering souls in their deck. Excellent. Didn't expect any less. It was very, very obvious that my opponent had kept this hand solely because of because of Ashiok. You don't just go turn one go, turn one go, turn three go. <laughs> like that's just not a thing that that you do un unless you think that whichever card you have is gonna be an absolute blowout. Yeah, this is just not working out for my opponent, unfortunately. Why is it everybody plays I shift so bad? I don't know, it's like people don't think about it. There are some cards that are just kind of not particularly logical in how they play out, basically. And Ashiok definitely is one of those. It's not obvious, right? It's not an obvious card to extract value from. Same with Liliana. Those are those are actually, in my opinion, like the best. Those are the best kind of planeswalkers. The ones that are not so obvious. The ones that have. Those are the, the sweet designs. Those are the really sweet designs. Like the fact that sometimes it's just correct to not plus Liliana. And not minus Liliana. Just like it, it's correct to just not activate the planeswalker altogether. Like that just. I, it just makes it so much more skill intensive and interesting to me, except with something like the fairy well, but here I draw a card. It's just like there, there's no thought into it whatsoever. It's just like I'm just gonna plus and draw a card. Easy. Like <laughs> what am I gonna do? With something like the um, even the fairy time raveler is like, do I care about anything that my opponent has going on? No. Well then I just plus. Easy. Do I care about anything that my opponent has going on? Yes. Well, I bounce that something. Draw a card. Do I need a card? Well, I just plus. I just minus. Um, I think this card, this hand is actually okay. Want the fairy banned so badly? It's never gonna get banned. It's not that kind of power level card. Know that I only kept this hand because I knew that we were playing against the Lurus deck, and this hand is actually fine against the Lurus deck. Just because Explorer is really good. Honestly, Explore, Explore might be the pick right here. Unless they have something that they want, don't want me to bath. Uh, well, that's pretty good. Solid top deck. So I started both leagues. First one was stretch, conceded to the Suma Bog twice. <laughs> nice. Single was absent company with neither white orchid. Nice. Knight of the White Orchid in modern. Uh I guess we're gonna play the, the mammoth. What am I trying to draw here? Maybe like a Dryad or um, Steve would also be fine. All right. My opponent's draw was just very, very, very good. Um, what's his name? Could also be a fine draw here. Um, either Path to Exile or the other one, the... Um, Damn it. Apparition. Apparition. Another Reclaimer. I mean... If we top the Titan, If we get to jump here and we top the Titan, We might just win. Uh... 
All right, yes. Let's rub our hands together. Let's rub our hands together. Let's invoke it. And nothing. So close. Should I ride most vigorously? Yeah, I know. Too slow. Too slow! <laughs> we didn't enjoy Titan. We didn't win. Damn it. Considerations for this matchup are this member, which I don't think is very good. Generous Gift, which could be okay. And... Uh, I don't think there anything else is better than what I already have. Maybe Knight of Autumn... It's it's a fine one to access to. I've seen some of these lists actually playing Blood Moons in the sideboard. Gonna give you time to redeem. Well, my opponent just F6 really quickly, so they kind of got me. I even didn't. I, I wasted a, a a chance at a at a, um, a drum roll even. That's just bad. That's just a bad job as a streamer. Bad streamer. If only I were like Spike and I could, I could think and play at the same. I could talk to chat and play at the same time, right? If only I were like that. This hand is very good. It's gonna be pretty tough for my opponent to poke a hole in this one. Still a new player and I'm trying to understand your deck, so how do your lands make you win exactly? Because there's a card named Field of the Dead Bilma, and allows you to make a ton of zombies, and then you win with that. And then you also sometimes just win using um, using Dalakut in combination with Riot of the Elysian Grove. Not a bad draw! So yeah, you, you win by Balakuting, just throwing a bunch of lightning bolts at your opponent's face, or you also win by making a ton of zombies. Here we're obviously blocking. Getting a forest, I think. You have double white already. Ooh, no land. Yikers. Dismember my Spring Bloom Druid. You got it. <laughs> you got it. It resolves. Yeah, this is the kind of match... Uh, th this is... When it feels like we can never lose this matchup. When our opponent kind of stumbles a tiny bit. And then they can never, ever come back from it. Like they need to have a thought this year, they don't, so I'm just lost. All right. Thinking some more about this. I think I'd rather have Dryads over this member slash a generous gift. I think we just submit the same. Uh, I might have. I might have been more interested in if I had access to Winds of Abandon. Like, if I had access to Winds, I probably would bring that in. Ugh. Uh, more, ugh. But I'm gonna keep this one. At least they are a different name, Forest, so. No turn one, Swift Spear, okay. But yes, turn one discard spell, I assume. No, they targeted themselves. Uh, 
Oh, they do have Swiss spear. Okay, so I guess that it, they they really cared about the the pseudo scry. White source would have been great. Would have really enjoyed a white source there. Oh, Matt. Path this actually. I guess I can just take it and then we can pass a Scourge. Oh, they just did that. Oh, sweet. This is just so I can use my mana a little bit more efficiently. Is it better to main one to Dexter? Uh, it, usually, you're probably gonna be doing better if you are a master of one deck instead of being medium at many decks. I might go get Apparition here. I guess it depends on what my opponent does here. If they don't have a Discord spell, I think I'm okay. I think I'm gonna go for a Titan. I'm gonna present the Blast Zone to don't to incentivize my opponent to not go for it and not just kill me. But in reality, my plan is to call for Titan. This is just a bluff. I near say thank you for the follow. Do they have like shadowed out or something? Cause that would be a blowout. Do they, they just have nothing? They're just fetching for F6 value. Well, I'm not gonna say I was expecting to win this one because they just flooded like nuts. Yeah, I guess they just have like a bunch of removal. <laughs> I just never played anything for them to use the removal on. You got a Scourge. If I attack with everything. One, two, three. One, 
two, three, we crack, we attack with everything. Opponent takes lethal, they can use a removal spell, but... Also, we can kill the Scorch, because we can get Celestial Sanctuary plus Radiant Fountain, gain two. And then if my opponent does block, we bounce the fountain and we've replayed again on second main phase. And uh, with the six points of damage that the Scourge already has, uh, it just dies. <laughs> they should have kicked Scourge. Did they have mana for that? Yeah, they did. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. They had mana for a kicked Scourge. That's really funny. <laughs> I have not yet seen a kicked Scourge. I have not yet seen a kicked Scourge. That was that was a missed opportunity, opponent. You like John because it's pretty much adapted to anything, but it costs too much for a newbie like you. Yeah, the problem with those kind of decks, like good stuff decks, is that, well, they're good stuff decks, so they tend to be pretty expensive because the cards are expensive. What is this? Hmm, hmm. It's not a good draw. Drafter scores in arena and won two games by kicking while they were at one. That's hilarious. Petty theft. Mm, interesting. This seems kind of fine to me, huh? Um, now this is going to be a 3-4. So we fetch for... Uh, oh, I guess that we want to fetch for a planes here. We Dryad and we play Flagstones, keeping this. Yes. Get Scatter Groves, play Reclaimer. Say go. I mean, we might still be in rough shape if my opponent has like Bolt into Lava Dart into Nonsense, right? Or Manamorphos into Nonsense, obviously. The good thing is that this forces my opponent's hand right now, so... Oh, that's it? Um, I'm just gonna block with Reclaimer here, and if my opponent has Gut Shot, we're still fine. They can gut shot me. That's uh, four, five, six, seven. Maybe they, if they also have mutagenic growth here. But we get to Titan here otherwise. I really want a Radiant Fountain here. It's 
So if they had mutagenic growth, I would have died, so they don't have mutagenic growth, so I'm gonna kill both. Oh, I guess that's not true, because I gained two. Mm, I might fucked up here. So I guess I should have thrown both triggers at the at the sprite dragon. Don't do it. Don't draw the bolt. Old lava dart. Sweet. So if you're English, you're French. Yeah, I'm Argentinian. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I feel you. Okay, so I want purges because usually I die to the stupid flyer. Definitely want dismembers. And Eidolon is actually really good in this matchup. I think they might have um, Blood Moon. Apparition <clears throat> is. Worse in this matchup than against other prowess decks. But I guess I'm still okay with that. Okay with one just so I can call for it. Hmm. Shave one Titan. It's possible shave any Titan there is wrong. Seems like okay, draw. Not like insane or anything, but one that I'm probably happy to keep. Oh, this is this is very good for us. This is very, very good for us. Um Left two cards on top, damn it. Um, I think I'm just gonna main face dismember this thing. Sweet. Sprite dragon. Again, the, fl the fr flyers are my priority number one. Yes. Even if this deck becomes a slit, a lot of cards can be used in other strong decks like Amelie Titan. Yeah, yeah, that, that's one of the beautiful things about a format like Modern, right? It's precisely that fact. Uh, sure. Groves. Maybe I should have gotten a basic planes there actually. I'm getting fountain doesn't make too much sense yet. I'm just gonna get flagstones. I mean we're just gonna get to replay this thing, so Can play borrower on end step. Doesn't do too much. Now my my reclaimer survives lightning bolt because I can go squatter my own flagstones. I'm not liking the the bracing borrowers in my opponent's deck. They seem kind of weird. So new player, I still don't understand why lands are so expensive. Most of the decks have a couple 
hundreds only in lands. Yeah, well, the, it's it's a matter of um, the man, uh, supply and demand, right? It's a matter of supply and demand. There's nothing. It's just pretty straightforward. A lot of people. Uh, those cards are really in demand, so there's only a limited amount of copies of those cards. So people really want to get their hands on them. Welcome to Economics with F. Pavlush. So here we just go square ourselves and we win. Obviously killing the bracing bar one first, obviously. <laughs> Back to back four on ones. Back to back four on ones after starting with a three and oh. Uh, only loss was to mill, which is to be expected. But I'm, I'm feeling like this list is pretty well rounded against the rest of the meta. Um, I'm not seeing the difference in these members, unfortunately. Um, we did get paired against the, um, the taxes deck. And I didn't really get to see the difference of the instant speed or the one mana thing actually mattering. Uh, granted, my opponent had an incredible hand; like they just had, it. they used every single piece of the buffalo to win that that uh, match. So maybe uh, wins of Bandit wouldn't have mattered anyway. But it is it is interesting. It is interesting to to think about this member. Uh, the mammoth was a little bit medium to me. I was I was not excited about it. I think that for tomorrow I'm gonna try the flora hedron and try to see if that actually makes a difference. Uh, it, it is a more impactful a more impactful card. So this is what I'm, what I'm gonna be trying tomorrow. Um, everything else in the main deck felt really good. Like I liked everything else. Uh, the only as as I said the only one offs that I consider to be the flex slots are the Explore and the um, Turn Timber, but I actually have been liking the Turn Timber a lot, so I don't think I'm gonna be changing this. Um, this might just become a second Explorer, honestly. This might be just what happens. As far as the sideboard goes, I'm not impressed by this card. Not impressed by this card. This card is kind of medium, but it makes sense. Like this is kind of like my anti-tron package. Um, these members are definitely a question mark. Uh, two boils are great. Maybe I don't want the third copy. Uh, tracker honestly has been super medium. I'm I'm not sold that I want tracker, and I'm not sold that I want collector Oof either. So all of these cards I might try. I'm probably gonna be looking around to other lists for uh, for inspiration, and I might make some changes to to this for tomorrow, just to try things out, just for experimentation purposes. And I mean, that's that's the whole point of this week uh, of testing, right? So, but yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you so much for checking out the stream. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, folks. And I will see you in the next one for day number three. Bye bye.